Kristen. Kristen. <laughs> Kristen, good morning. Good morning. All right. Uh, are you an opester? I feel it. I feel it. 100% Oprah because I think people should just forget Tom Selleck exists 100%. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Wow. I got to tell you. Now, wow. wait. Now, why? is it? Do you, I mean, do you just not appreciate Selleck? I mean, I'm with I you. I can't stand him. Well, okay. I, just, I don't like him. <laughs> really? Why? Is, I don't know. He's always annoyed me. Like, when I was really young and my parents would watch that show Magnum P.I., yeah. I would... I would leave the room and go play somewhere just so I didn't have to look at him. I, I, I don't won't even watch the show Blue Bloods because he's on it. What does that is, disrespect? What that is vitriol wow. no, you're calling? No, with. no, it makes total sense. You know why? Because he's egotistical. I don't know if you've ever seen him on any of these talk shows. He, you know, he keeps that mustache even though he knows it's not fashionable. He just thinks he's the bee's knees when Oprah, yeah. in fact, is the cat's pajamas. Oprah has done so much good for so many yep. people. Yep. Yep, and oh, she's raised awareness on a lot of different different topics, and yeah, Oprah is an amazing person. She, you know, and wow. listen, Oprah was born into abject poverty and is a billionaire. Exactly, and that's because the woman works hard. And you know what? She could keep all that money and not do anything. She gives cars away. She gives people homes. Look, she does all kinds exactly. of stuff. Exactly. I didn't expect such hatred for the Selick. Wow, I'm taken oh. back. No, I okay. I, I and I'm sorry that uh, you know your childhood was filled with uh, Magnum P.I. and Selleck traumas. Oh, it's horrible. I, it, it, I, I should be in therapy, but you know what? I, I manage. Okay, all right. You should be in therapy, but you get through. Right. Selleck therapy. That's no. It. Yes. <laughs> One more final check of your headlines on Hits 106 KHQ, and then I guess uh, we have to do a uh, Tom Selleck birthday appreciation, but I'm starting to think about it, Jeff, because that one woman who called, she said that she had Selleck trauma, that, that, that he caused her pain are you concerned i'm a little concerned i'll tell you what if anyone else has endured selic pain give us a call 231-947-1106 and the birthday party's canceled is that fair i'll tell you what I've, we've heard a couple of calls if more people call and say i had to deal with selic pain okay growing up as a kid i okay. was forced to watch it and i was traumatized i will agree with you that we might have to not celebrate his birthday. Today. All right. Fa fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Did a man with a mustache give you trauma when you were a child? It's Hits 106 KHQ. Jeff, uh, look, we had listener court. Okay. And uh, because today is the birthday of not only Tom Selleck, but Oprah Winfrey, two staples of this program in one way or the other. Yeah, uh, they may they make their way. I mean, some of our biggest posts when we ha had a discussion, a battle of who has the uh, best mustache in Hollywood. Uh, Tom really ran away with it. Uh, and then, uh, you know, your Stedman uh, yeah. really didn't garner too many votes. But, you know, it's their birthday today, uh, Oprah and Tom. Yeah, and we, we had a listener court. And basically the point of this listener court was to see who do we celebrate because we don't have enough time time to celebrate all of them and while it was close and while if my friend would have called just a couple minutes sooner uh would have been oprah tom Selleck won out and um you know i was concerned though jeff because uh right before we went to the knn news desk um a woman called and said that she had uh, a little bit of trauma it was pretty pretty tough to hear don't, don't you think so uh i did not expect it uh this you know these calls are coming in about this and uh it's becoming to get a little concerning if you're just tuning in here's the thing uh, i may not celebrate his birthday we have somebody on hold but i want you to hear what this woman said this was a call just a couple minutes ago from listener court about tom Selleck. okay her name was Kristen. i think people should just forget tom Selleck exists 100 percent Wow. Whoa, wow. Whoa, wow. Whoa. Wow. I got to tell you. Now, wow. wait. Now, why? Is it, do you, I mean, do you just not appreciate Selleck? I mean, I'm with I you. I can't stand him. Well, okay. I just, I don't like him. <laughs> really? Why? Is, I don't know. He's always annoyed me. Like, when I was really young and my parents would watch that show Magnum P.I., yeah. I would... I would leave the room and go play somewhere just so I didn't have to look at him. I, I, I don't won't even watch the show Blue Bloods because he's on it. What does that is, disrespect? What that is vitriol wow. no, you're calling no, with? No, no, it makes total sense. You know why? Because he's egotistical. I don't know if you've ever seen him on any of these talk shows. No, I okay. I, I and I'm sorry that uh, you know your childhood was filled with uh, Magnum PI and Selleck traumas. 
Oh, it's horrible. I, it's, it's, I, I should be in therapy, but you know what? I, I manage. Okay, all right. You should be in yeah. therapy, but you no. get through. Huh? Selic therapy. That's no. It. Yes. <laughs> Jeff, she was laughing, but underneath of that, she was crying. Yeah, sometimes you uh, you disguise uh, your distress with a little Masking bit of laughter. The pain, yeah, yes. yeah. Lisa, I mean, you know, mm. I, how do you feel? I mean, where are you at? Because we have uh, we have someone on hold, and I do want to get to them. I just want your I want your honest opinion. I mean, what do you think? I mean, this is distressing. I guess I don't see how anybody could have been traumatized by Magna P.I., but wow. there you go. So you are discounting her trauma. No. Okay. <laughs> Look, we said that if we get another call, so if, if Tom Selleck in any way affected your childhood... Two three one nine four seven one one zero six. We're here for you. Yeah, because it just seems like uh, children were forced, forced to be select, <laughs> and nobody, <laughs> nobody wants an unsolicited selic. All right, hoping that people uh, want to talk selic and Oprah. Yeah, well, let's hope uh, they want to talk. Tommy. Let's hope right. How about that? That was good. It wasn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Honk, honk. All right. Uh, KHQ, good morning. Who's this? Jen. It sounds like you really love the Selic, huh? Uh, well, I don't know about that. Oh, okay. so, wow. So you would rather us celebrate Oprah on her birthday than the Selic? Yes. Oh, oh wow. Okay. I didn't, and, oh, wow. and you came with Knight Rider, and you still dropped the O-bomb yeah, on us. Yeah. All right. O-bomb. I was, I, I was stuck watching them. Mm. I didn't have a choice. Oh, so you were tortured, too. Oh, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so many. I was. Tortured with Tom. So, so many people were forced into the Selleck. I, I never knew this. I maybe. I just I just thought that it was on and everybody watched it. Mm-hmm. No. Wow. So, so, you, so you're dealing with some Selleck trauma as well. Your parents or whatever made you watch it, and you were just trying to live your life, huh? I was trying to live my life, yep. Mm. And... You know, it's just, it's stuck there now. Oh, the pain. I hear the pain. <laughs> she can't get it out. Wow, this is a, another one. Oh, all right, well, listen, uh, I am so sorry for your pain, and, uh, you know, we will always be here for you, okay? Well, thank you. <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Have you been traumatized by Tom Selleck? It's it's 106 KHQ and Lisa. Quick uh, check of the vroom vrooms out there. Oh, yeah. Cloudy, a high near 31 today, but we do have uh, roads getting a little slick out there, mm. according to Grand Traverse 911. The Road and School Report brought to you by Serve Pro of Gaylord, Sheboygan, Bel Air, Kalkaska, Lake City, and Grayling. They make fire and water damage like it never even happened. We have Molly on the phone. Molly, were you traumatized by the Selleck? traumatized me was that I couldn't meet him in person because he was the most handsome, charming, just fabulous guy that was on TV at the time for years and years and years. And everybody I know loved him. Wow. So, so not only were you not traumatized, but you think he's, he's beautiful. You think he's gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, great personality and talented as well. Wow. Wow. So what do you think about these people who say they were traumatized by the Selleck? They probably never even saw the show. Wow. Yeah. You know, I think they're just judging him maybe because of the mustache. Yeah. You know, that could be it. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. But the mustache, everybody had him then. Right. Well, I guess it's 2020, though. It's time for it to go. No, thank keep you. the stash. Molly, thank you so much for your some call. Fa- some faces need it. Yes, Amen. they yes. do. Thanks for your call, Molly, okay? Thank you. All Have right. Good morning. You, we Bye-bye. will try, yeah. Uh, were you traumatized by the Selleck? 231-947-1106. Want to weigh in on the conversation? Call Rizzo now. 231-947-1106. It's 106 KHQ. We're always here for our listeners. It's Hits 106 KHQ. That's what we do. 
Cloudy high at 31 today. And uh, Tom Selleck, uh, apparently traumatizing a lot more people. See, this is the double-edged sword. See, you wanted to celebrate Tom Selleck today. We did a listener court. You thought that would be that. You thought we'd have a birthday party for him. We would move on. But we cannot stop the phones from ringing at 231-947-1106 of people that are sharing their Selleck stories. Look, I didn't know that Selleck uh, caused some of this distress to children growing up in the 80s. I was one of them. I don't really remember that, but everybody's got ghosts in their closet. You've heard that before. Oh, for sure. Skeletons, ghosts. Uh, you know, skeletons, right. So is, is Selleck really upsetting people this much as growing up where now you think back to the memories of a child spending time with your family and you were traumatized? Let's go to uh, the K&N newsroom and, and uh, get, a, get a quick perspective from Lisa. <laughs> Okay, Lisa. <laughs> Honestly, I I was a big fan of Magnum PI when I was a kid, so I don't I don't see the whole trauma thing. You don't see well, I mean, Lisa, you've seen these phones. Yes. They have not they, stopped. I know. It is I unbelievable. Know. And do you not feel their pain? You you I, are an eighties fanatic. Uh, I that am. was the Lisa that time. Was, that was that was my prime time, yeah. Well, the high school time, yeah. I, I mean, come on. I mean he's he's from Detroit. Mm-hmm. He's a Michigander. Yeah, you know what? Well, Always wore the Detroit Tigers yeah. baseball cap. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Two three one and nine four seven one one zero six. Were you traumatized by Tom Selleck, Oprah, somebody of that sort? But but realistically, did your parents make you watch the stash? Do you resent them for making you watch the stash? We got uh, Misty on the phone who, uh, I, I mean, I would assume, were you traumatized by the Selleck, Misty? No, it, I was traumatized by Oprah. Oh, Oprah? Really? Well, the yeah. floor's have yours. You ever been, have you ever been forced to watch The Color Purple, that movie that she was in? It was absolutely horrific, and it was the worst acting performance of her uh, anything. And I never wanted to see anything else. So you're that, telling me that her acting performance was so bad that that turned you off of Oprah completely? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. So 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 what about her being a talk show host? I mean, maybe she's a bad actor. Whoa. Wow. 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 A goat you bat and a Tommy every day, and I'd be happy. Oh, Tommy, Tommy. every day. Tommy okay. all day, every day. All right. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Wow. <laughs> My goodness! But Woo. no, Oprah. This is this yeah. is wow. Well, I I apologize that you feel that you were you know uh, you know tortured by the Obster. Uh, she's a good I person. Was Oprah size. Oh, Oprah size. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's Rizzo, Jeff, and Lisa. The 106 KHQ Morning Show on Hits 106 KHQ. He wants us to call him General Patton. His name's really Ben because he's here to drop bombs. Jeff knowledge. Bomb. Yeah, uh, Ben, you got some Tom Selleck knowledge, huh? Yep, I just wanted to share this with you guys real quick. Sure. So, not many people know this, but Chuck Norris only cut his facial hair one time. And when he cut his facial hair, that spawned Tom Selleck. Really? So there's got to be some, <laughs> yep, that is a true statement. So you're so, telling me that without the Chuck, there would be no Tom? Correct. That is correct. Wow. So was it Walker, Texas? What did he did he get rid of the stash? No. Like, do you know anything? I'd like to know how this came about. I mean, what's the the backstory? Do you know it? Yeah, I don't know the backstory. I believe he got into a fight with Thor at some point, and uh, when Thor hit him with a bolt of lightning, it knocked off one of his facial hairs, and okay. out of that, Tom Selleck was born. I think that's, that's wow. how it went, as wow. I heard it anyway. I, okay, all right. That's the rumor on the streets. That's, all right. That's what's happening Nor- out there. Norris gave us Selleck. That's, that's the word. Well, yeah, right. you know what, word. man? Thank you for keeping us informed, okay? We love to give out yeah. information here on Hits 106 KHQ. You got it. Have oh, a good day. All right. Oh, you too. We'll try. Was anyone else uh, traumatized by the cell? Like 231-947-1106. A lot of people have uh, have hard feelings about this. I, 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 you know, it surprises me that Chuck Norris has got involved in this I today. Where did he come from? <laughs> oh, no. Want to weigh in on the conversation? Call Rizzo now. 231-947-1106. Hits 106 KHQ.
Okay, uh, the calls that uh, never cease to amaze me. We have people tortured by Ope. We have people tortured by Selig. People being Oprah-sized. Since 106 KHQ. We have who on the phone, Jeff? We have Sabrina. Sabrina, tell us your story. What's your plight? I am all for Tom Selig. Uh, all for. All right. So he didn't. Yes. he didn't torture you. No. Have you listened? I'm in the era of, you know, Remington Steel, Magnum P.I., mm. Miami Vice, all of those good-looking 80s guys. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Sabrina, so what do you think it is when people say, I'm trying?